from the Itsumeb mine in Namibia. Now, this is a pretty nice example of uh, you have a core of galena, which would be lead crystals, usually in a cubic form, which have been dusted by um, tiny smithsonite crystals. Uh, if you zoom into the still pictures, you'll actually be able to see the little smithsonite crystals dusting it right across. What I find so appealing about this piece are these ledges, most likely thin crust of uh, uh, galena ledges, which have been dusted again by the smithsonite. As we go around, we have a section, um, I think it's over here. Ah, oh, where is it? Where it's a, ah, oh, this, this is where it's a pretty solid uh, uh, Smithsonite section. But then again, the main point of display for me would be this particular section. So if we have it going on a turntable, and it's a slight cream color to these, um, we'll look for other associations. Uh, a relative weight is quite heavy because the underlying matrix is of course the galena or the lead. I think here we may see some of the galena in crystal form. And then also in the center here, you'll see it on the still pictures, there's a crystal, possibly a galena crystal. We'll have a closer look at that. A very pretty large crystal of most likely galena. Uh, on, in, the, in the core of the specimen, all the way from the famous old Tsumeb mine in Namibia, uh, Smithsonite with Galena. Quite a lovely example, and look at these lovely ledges. Let's go across the top like that. Uh, pretty, pretty good quality. A uh, little bit of contact on this edge there and uh, across here. But this point of display is pretty perfect when we're looking at it like this. I actually like to show my stones all around. Um, Often you have this lovely front section and this disaster at the back. In this case, it's actually appealing all the way around.